Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. And in Shiksha Mantra, the last uh, discussion that we have was on linking verb. I didn't know it. But uh, as I uploaded the video, one of my students, he asked me, so we need detail, we need more examples about linking verbs. Could you please uh, upload a video immediately with some details, with some more examples? I've accepted it because uh, that's a really, really a great, great question to ask. And my student who has asked this, I really appreciate his approach because linking verb is such a huge, huge thing. It's not something that uh, where you will get some uh, four or five or ten examples, uh, uh, four or five or ten verbs, and you just consider them as linking verbs. It's not so. Sure. It's a huge thing. So here, with the zeal of the request of my student, I'm going to get into the details of the linking verbs with sufficient examples and with sufficient list of the linking verbs here in Shiksha Mantra. But before, before we start this discussion, I would rather ask you to visit YouTube Shiksha Mantra, Facebook Shiksha Mantra, as well as the page of Shiksha Mantra Grammar, English Grammar in Telegram. Yes, dear friends, the link will be there in the description box and uh, as you reach this telegram channel you would get something what i'll tell this in a later part of the video so stay tuned with us we are going to start our discussion on the details of linking verbs Yes, dear friends, before we start the discussion of uh, linking verbs, I would uh, tell you one thing simply, probably you have noticed. The thumbnail that uh, I have put in this uh, discussion in the video. So there in the thumbnail, we have what? There in the thumbnail, we have, yes, dear friends, we have a bridge. Now, why I have put a bridge there? Uh, let me discuss it first. So, let me draw a bridge. I don't know whether this would be uh, something beautiful or not because uh, I'm not a painter. But I'll try my best to draw a bridge or a sort of thing like a bridge. And there, this bridge helps what? It helps a connection. Suppose there is a river that flows down and uh, there is a bridge. Now what is the purpose of this bridge? This is the question. What is the purpose of this bridge? This bridge actually connects. Connects what? Connects the two sides of the river. The two banks of the rivers are getting connected through this bridge. And that's the purpose of building a bridge. So if I put two components here. One is uh, suppose Ravi. And the other is a student follow it dear friends here i am once again recapping the discussion of linking verbs its ideas if you haven't uh, actually uh, watched the discussion that i have regarding linking verb you will get the link in the i button above from where you may check it and again, I am recapping it 
for your assistance. So Ravi or student. If you consider these two things, Ravi and student, as a part of a sentence, you'll get that Ravi, this is the subject of the sentence and the student, this is actually what? It's an identifier. It's an identifier for what? It's an identifier for the subject. It's a noun though. So it's it works as an identifier for the subject itself. So in a sense, you may say Ravi and a student, they are equal. They are very much equal. Ravi and a student, their identity is not different. Rather, their identity is the same. So we may say Ravi is equal to a student. This concept, this is equal to concept. It's a huge concept in the later part of the discussion. I'll go in detail about it. How you will find out the linking verbs very easily. I would skip to that discussion. But uh, for this, you have to stay tuned to this video till the end. Don't skip it. Okay. Now, what I may do, I may put a verb here is. And what this verb does when I put is, Ravi is a student. So the sentence become Ravi is a student. Now this verb is, it works as a bridge. It connects the two banks of the river. If you consider a sentence as a river, then Ravi, the subject is in one bank and a student, the identifier is on the other. Now the bridge is, the verb is. So there's many verbs which works as a bridge, as a connector in between the subject and its identifier or it's a, a, or a, some noun or adjective that describes the subject itself. We call them linking verbs. Yes, dear friends. So that's the simple concept of linking verbs. Obviously, they are the verbs that connects, that links. So here, when we think of this verb, or it's better to say these verbs, there's a list. There's a list of linking verbs in English grammar. So here, we'll check the list of the linking verbs in English grammar. So let's have a check. Yes, dear friends, we have the list here. The list is long, very, very long. But I have uh, actually divided them into some components so that you may find it easy to find out where to put the focus. The first of them is the most common linking verbs. These linking verbs are very common. Mostly we use them in our sentences and they are the forms of the be verbs. Yes, dear friends. The different forms of be verbs are used as linking verbs. There you'd have to conjugate them according to the tense, etc, etc. And I'm not going to that details. But what is most essential, there are different forms of be verbs which are linking verbs like is, are, am, was, were, can be, could be, will be, would be, shall be, maybe, might be, have been, had been, has been. So we'll get this list, this particular list where most common verbs which we use as linking verbs are they so you have to remember them and there you have to uh, find out another factor must be can be shall be would be could be so they get uh, conjugated with modal auxiliaries and together with the modal auxiliaries, they also form linking verbs. So this is the first part, the forms of be verbs. There, the others, like the state of being verbs, state of being. It's very, very important. You have to remember it. The states of beings like act, become, grow, remain, stay, get, appear, some prove turn etc so that's the that's the least where you'd get states of being 
and then comes the five senses yes dear friends it's also very very important whatever is there in our senses that we uh, actually perceive through the five senses those verbs are also linking verbs like that of feel look smell sound taste all these verbs are linking verbs so here you have a list of the verbs which we use as linking verbs but at the same times you have to remember the thing i have discussed i have discussed in the previous discussion of linking verbs they what i have said you have to remember that these verbs many of them can be used both as a linking verb as well as a normal verb that suggests some action so linking verbs don't suggest an action but sometimes there some verbs from the this list they suggest some actions and we consider them action verbs they are not linking verbs there and uh, we have to find out how to get whether these verbs are linking verbs or not but before we shift to that you have to remember another factor that these verbs have be verbs they as uh, they are used as linking verbs it's it's possible only when they are used as principal verbs but they are used as auxiliary verbs as well so when they are auxiliary verbs they are not linking verbs uh, let me write a sentence here if i say i am playing music i am playing music now here am this verb is not a linking verb this verb is only an auxiliary verb so you mustn't uh, puzzled things together okay now let's shift to the verb of the five senses first is fill this waiter fills itchy this waiter fills itchy so this waiter and its description is itchy and this is the linking verb we have to fill this with our five senses then look the sculpture looks strange look the sculpture and strange they are just the uh, description strange is the description of the subject the sculpture and looks this is a linking verb then comes smell the dinner smells wonderful so the dinner is wonderful that doorbell sounds broken the doorbell sounds how broken the soup tastes delicious how the soup is delicious so this is the list of the linking verbs that we have here and also you will get this same list the very list you will get in the telegram channel of shiksha mantra you would get the description in the uh, you would get the link in the description uh, box below so from there you may check it you may visit this and you will get this list so this is all about the list of linking verbs but should we stop here with the list i think uh, we mustn't because uh, it's it's very essential for us to have some sentences though they are so so very different sentences are possible actually it's not possible for me to uh, put a sentence every time with each and every uh, verb that i hear uh, that i have here uh, in this list it's not possible so what i'm going to do i'm going to present some example like this yes dear friends so this is the list of examples we have and the first of them is ravi is or was excited about his promotion look ravi is or was that means uh, it's for simple present and it's for simple past it's uh, the conjugation of the tense but this is the use of be verb as linking verbs ravi is excited excited this is a description of ravi so this is the linking verb then comes since 
it's it's a very common linking valve most of the time you face him and it becomes a linking valve like rajni seems upset so this is a description for the subject rajni and seems it makes a connection in between these two components that's why it's also a linking valve then comes the rose smells sweet we have already discussed it uh, with the five senses there it was smells but the rose is sweet the rose is sweet so it smells sweet okay so we have these three examples and also there are many so let's have the next examples here he went red after tripping on the rug he went yes dear friends i have told you now so many verbs are there which can be used both as linking verbs and as action verbs and most of the times you know them either as linking verbs or as action verbs but that's not the proper approach what must be your approach your approach must be that you would learn whether this is linking verb or this is action verb you have to find it out find it out all by yourself by applying a very simple trick i'm going to discuss it very soon in the later part of the video but just uh, follow that went is a linking verb here this is not a verb that we normally use your wedding plans sound nice look sound this is also a linking verb because it's related to five senses so that's it dear friends we have uh, other so let's uh, have a look at the list of next examples tia looks exhausted looks so if you follow this verb looks it's not that looking but it's also you may consider looks as is exhausted or appears exhausted bina might have been forthcoming with the news how might have been this is also a linking verb dreams come true when you have faith on them dreams come true really if you have a faith that you learn english grammar you would learn them properly and you can solve all these problems all by yourselves you can do this so your dream will come true and this is also a linking verb because dreams this is the subject which has a description in the form of true and come is only but a linking verb here so we have some more examples to check and here they are and stayed come on the face of the threat so stayed if i haven't put them here in this list if i haven't put them here in the example many or why should i say many most of you will miss it for a for an action verb but this is a linking verb here for this sentence when it's used in this situation and stayed come that means and remained come and is come you may uh, follow that i am replacing the verb with many other linking verbs and it's it's very essential in the next part of our discussion we'll discuss it so the subject and its adjective come and stayed come so stayed is not an action verb here rather this is only a linking verb there in the next example bob felt sleepy as he was tired you know phil this is a very common linking verb so you won't have any confusion with this but only uh, i have placed here this linking verb so that uh, you could remember it and the next one the audience remained spellbound with the charm of her voice look remained 
Now you may replace this linking verb remained with stayed. The audience stayed spell bound. The audience is spell bound with the charm of her voice. You may do this. And the list doesn't stop here. We have some more for you. So let's check it. We have three more and uh, we'd stop here with the number 13 because uh, don't call it unlucky 13. Uh, for 13 is but uh, a number and we have had 13 here. We may have 130, but that's of no use. Only the video would get long. It's not of any use to linger the video, but it's better for you to visit my Telegram channel and there you will get everything. All these lists would be put here, there in the Telegram channel and you'll get them. This I'll be happy forever, I'll be. You have uh, seen it in the list uh, that I have put there, I'll be. Molly gets nostalgic. Look, gets nostalgic. This is also a linking verb. Molly is nostalgic. That's also a linking verb. The spectators remained silent. Remained. This is also a linking verb. The spectators are silent at the defeat of the home team. So these are the examples of linking verbs. Probably you have sufficient knowledge of linking verbs now. You have found it. What are linking verbs? How are they used? But we have a very, very important discussion here that's waiting for us. And what's that discussion? The discussion is how you will find out a linking verb. So what would be the tricks to find out the linking verbs? Yes, dear friends, now we are going to discuss the tricks with which you will find the linking verbs very easily. So your goal is to find out the linking verbs. But how to do this? We have two tricks here. And here comes the trick number one. And that is by replacing it with B verb. Yes, dear friends. This is why whenever I was reading the examples, with the examples, I was uh, actually uh, suffering them with others. If you say, he feels tired. Let me have this sentence. You would understand this. He feels tired. Now replace feels with is. What you will get? He is tired and it would be meaningful. If he feels tired is meaningful, you will get the same meaning when you replace feels with is. He is tired. The same meaning you will get here. That means feels is a linking verb and this is our first rules. This is our first trick to check a linking verb. I would have this everywhere, those examples with those examples which I have already discussed. And the second is by placing is equal to in the place of verb. So if you put is equal to in the place of the verb, you will get the same answer. How it is? Ravi is a student. That's the example with which we have started it. Now, if I replace is with a is equal to, that is equal to will also mean the sentence Ravi student. That is Ravi is equal to a student. That's why under the bridge I have put an is equal to at the very beginning of the discussion and I've told you that this is equal to is very very vital. 
So these are the two points with which these are actually the two tricks with which you can very, very easily check whether the verb is a linking verb. Now, what's about those examples that we have discussed here? Let's check if it works there as well. And stayed come. That means an is equal to come. Bob felt sleepy. That means Bob is equal to sleepy or Bob is sleepy or an is come. The audience remained spellbound. That means the audience is equal to spellbound or the audience is spellbound. Look, all the tricks are working here. Now we'll say, sir, all these verbs are linking verbs. So there's no problem. Whenever you put is or is equal to with them, they are working. Now, what will it be? If this is not a linking verb and uh, it's it's very true and there I'll tell you to look for that sentence with go isn't it the land went dry there we have said just just uh, let me take these two examples and you will get it there won't be any con confusion Oops, sorry. The land went dry. This is the first sentence. We have another sentence. They went to the land. Now we are going to find out which one we have two vents here. This is the first vent. This is the second vent. Now we have to find out which one is the linking verb here and we have two tricks. First, let's uh, check with this verb. The land went dry. That means the land is dry or the land is equal to dry. And dry is the description. It's a description for what? It's the description for the subject land. So is and is equal to both these tricks will work here. And we may say that this is a linking verb. Now what happens with the next one? They went to the land. They are to the land. Okay. They are to the land. Somehow you may find out some meanings in it. So you may say, so it's working. No, that's why I have placed two rules here, two tricks. So you have to make two tricks work everywhere. They is equal to to the land. Now it doesn't mean. So this is not a linking verb. This is an action verb. That's how you can use this trick and easily find out whether the verb is a linking verb or an action verb and that's all for today we are returning very soon just visit my telegram channel to get all the details there and let me finish let me pack it up here for this discussion we are returning very soon and obviously don't forget to comment and place a request for the topics you crave for so let me stop here. Bye bye. Happy learning.